Sound off like you've got a pair, and welcome back to Project Zomboid Survivor Chronicles. Um, we are on day well, one month and four days, so we're on day 34, almost 35. We did fishing the other day, but uh, we broke our fishing pole. Let's see, uh, where is it? I believe we have our fishing pole. No, we got, got a bunch of gear. Bunch of gear on us that we don't really need. Uh, looking for our fishing pole. Uh, we broke it, and we need twine in order to repair it, and we have no twine whatsoever. So we need to go scavenging around for twine. Uh, we're going to grab a bite to eat before we head out. It's early in the morning. We just woke up. We're going to get something to drink, something to eat. I'm still getting used to the fact that it uh, it takes our weapon out of our primary slot and puts our mug in there. Still getting used to that. I'm not big big fan of it. I'm gonna grab uh take the pork chop. No, no, we're gonna take the uh fish fillet. Grab one of those. And we're gonna cook it. Oh <laughs> why did we loot? We didn't want to loot. But yeah, we're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna go looting and see if we can uh, find ourselves some twine. Uh, we're gonna close that door. We're gonna take these uh, these little bits. Now, I was wondering whether you guys would like me to do. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of rotten stuff. I don't like that. Uh, we're gonna grab that. And we're gonna cook that steak. I'll put that steak in here, and we're going to cook it up so we have something to eat. Uh, would you guys like me to uh, continue doing, like, fishing and stuff like that? Or do you think uh, we should start construction of an actual safe house for ourselves, like a fully customized safe house? Let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see me do. Oh, I saw you. Right around that corner. You went into the bathroom. You can stay in the bathroom. <laughs> It'll take a minute to cook that up. Yeah, he doesn't like being in the bathroom. Close that door. Twine! Excellent. We are going to be able to uh, fix our fishing line. Fix the fishing rod. Our fishing rod is repaired now. We don't need any of that. Uh, we should probably grab a little extra twine. See if there's a... Yeah, excellent. See if there's extra stuff around here. Grab up all the little extra bits we can before we leave in case we break our fishing pole again. Check the dresser. Ooh, a jacket. We're going to take that because uh, we never know when we might need it to stay warm. Temperatures are starting to drop. Our weather is getting really nasty out there. First aid kit's always useful. Candle. Yeah, I like candles. Alright. Getting ready to find out. Oh. This house has got a stockpile. I like this place. <laughs> Why didn't we move here first? Grab all these uh, little minor construction bits. Cyan paint, purple paint, uh, hammers, don't need charcoal, small planks. Oh, oh yeah, let's, uh, let's take the small bits first. That's sack. Um, that's sack. <laughs> barbed wire, yeah. Um, allow us to make a barbed wire fence later on. Right, that's all the little bits from there. Noise at the front door. Somebody escaped the uh, the bathroom. Oh, there you are. There's the bathroom fiend. Dead people in the bathroom reminds me of clerks. If you don't get that, please watch Clerks. It's a great movie. Absolutely hilarious. All right, we're gonna head back to the house. Uh, 
We've got a little bit of supplies. We didn't really, we don't really need to loot much since we're pretty, uh, pretty well self-sustaining. We are gonna scope out a few things on our way. Let me just kill this guy. Nothing important. I'm gonna go, uh, scope out a location. Zoom out makes it easier to drive. What we are looking for is the police station again. Which I believe is right here. Yes. We are going to look around and see if we can't find the key to the police car. I'm going to switch seats. We got no, no key, no key. And even if we search the back, no key. So we need to, uh, that looks like a police officer to me. Possibility of him being a police officer? No, that's not a police officer. He's just your average depressed man. Check this taxi. Key in the ignition. Corpse of the vehicle. <laughs> so there's a dead person in the taxi. Why am I not surprised? Now we're doing a really good job of killing these guys. We're not getting ourselves into too much trouble. Feeling uh, snackish. We're going to eat half of our steak. There we go. Yeah, it creates a little bit of unhappiness, but we're all right. We got plenty of ways to uh, to raise our happiness. What's in here? Lockers. A comic book would help with the uh, unhappiness. Yeah. No. Uh, no police car key. That doesn't make any sense to me. Shotguns, pistols, normal hiking bag has nothing in it. Pistol. Shotgun. And no keys. We may just end up having to hotwire it, but we don't have a uh, mechanic skill. Ooh. You just came right out the window right towards us. Like, hello! A furniture store there. 308 ammo in a bank. That's genius. I don't know who works at this bank, but uh -huh. they obviously have trust issues. Nothing in the garbage can. Wow, we can disassemble security terminals. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder what we would get out of them. Oh, shotgun shells. This is an interesting bank. I don't know if I want to come to this bank. I did not expect to uh, to find a uh, police car key in here. I just was curious what the bank actually had. I did not expect 308 ammo. We're gonna head back downstairs, head back to our car, head out of the neighborhood. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to start working on our mechanical skill and see about uh, learning how to hotwire cars so that we can get ourselves that uh, that police car. We're gonna start. Uh, 
Run people over. Yeah, we're gonna start running people over. We're gonna start uh, work on our vehicles, try to do maintenance on vehicles, and see about increasing our mechanical skill so that we can uh, hotwire that police car. I'm not sure where we're going. I'm kind of, uh... Oop. All right, I know where I'm at now. Do a little J-turn. Some Top Gear stuff right there. The number of things that I've run into, I kind of think I should change my character name to Richard Hammond. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go back out. It's not too late. We're gonna try our hand at some more fishing. We've got a worm. We're going to have to uh, do some foraging. I need to find some good locations to go foraging at. There we go. Forage. We want to find... don't care about animals, or berries, or mushrooms, or medicinal plants. We're going to look for materials. Let's see if we can find any little materials. Uh... Well, rocks, well, worms, things like that. Because those rocks and uh, and worms are going to help us out. The rocks allow us to create tools. What did we find? I don't think we found anything. So we're going to continue to forage for materials. I'm not sure if a failed forage does anything for our skill. But apparently it does, 0.75. Still haven't found anything. Uh, forage. Try berries, mushrooms, animals, and medicinal. Let's just forage for everything. Let's see what we can come up with. That would be, uh, we could go fishing, but really I want to be able to uh, resupply oh, plantains. Sweet, we can make poultices out of those. Let's continue to uh, forage. I don't know what the heck that sound was. Oh. Yeah, I know there's a skill penalty. I didn't mean to click on that. We're still overweight. We're trying to lose weight uh, by not eating as much stuff. Uh, violets. Okay, I'm not sure what uh, violets are useful for continue to forage. Plantains can be made as a poultice. That is awesome. I think we've got a uh, instructions. Um, survivalists? No. Health? Yeah! Make comfrey poultice. Make plantain poultice. Yeah, we need a mortar and pestle though. Did we get anything? Uh, we got some fresh berries. I don't know about those. Um, you don't know if those berries are good to eat yet or not. Your foraging skill helps you identify whether the berries are poisonous or not. Violets are a food. I didn't know you could eat violets. More berries. I'm going to continue to forage just in case. I know the... Uh, there's uh, some mushrooms that are poisonous, too. But we're going to continue to forage for a while. Uh, if we find anything interesting, uh, we will check that stuff out. Foraging skill is increasing somewhat. All right, we did some foraging. Uh, our annotated map is just... Uh, we checked it out. It's just an annotated map for... Uh, uh, Rosewood. Don't really, uh, don't really care about that. I think our other one is for, uh, Rosewood as well. No, March Ridge! Alright, so we got a map for March Ridge with, uh, annotations. Don't use guns. Stuff you can use as weapons here. Medical Center. It's quiet out there. That's it. So we've got a March Ridge map. We've got a, uh, uh, Rosewood annotated maps. So we got some uh, some useful maps. We found uh, poisonous berries. So apparently we can identify the berries. We got plantain, uh, violets. We didn't find any worms. We got some common mallow, which is good for uh, 
common colds and flu symptoms, so if we ever get sick, we've got a uh, medicine for that. I'm going to put the plantains in there as well. I don't know what to do with the poisonous berries. I mean, best thing to do is drop them. Uh, we're getting a little drowsy. I think we're going to do with a uh, for a nap. We're going to get ourselves something to drink because we are thirsty. And we're going to put our fresh cooked steak in the freezer. Keep that sucker good. I don't know what to do with those poisonous berries, though. Where do we put them? I'll put them on a dead body. That's what we're going to do. Excellent. We can uh, add fuel to uh, our heater. Even though we're not turning it on right now, it just takes the materials off of us, so we don't have to carry that stuff around. Getting a little peckish. Um, that's fine. I don't care if we're a little peckish. We need to lose weight. <laughs> we're, we're fat asses. Going to give it a little rest. Hopefully that rest uh, helps our drowsiness because it's, it's not too late. I don't want to go to bed right now. Uh, we're going to hold out on uh, going to bed because it's... It's only 1,900 hours, and that is way too early to, uh... Alright, we're gonna scavenge over here for more stuff. And that is way too early to be going to bed, because then we'll be waking up way too early. We're gonna continue to forage, uh, until we go to bed, and then I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, it is not morning. It is, uh, 4 a.m., but, uh... We were extremely tired, almost passing out at 2100 hours, so we went to bed, and this is the time we woke up, fully refreshed. Uh, we're going to continue to forage. Uh, we found some stones, which is good, because we can make hammers and axes out of those. Um, I don't have the materials right now to uh, make a hammer or an axe, but we're going to continue to forage because we're really looking for worms. I want stuff that I can use with uh, with our fishing rod to increase our odds of catching fish. Okay, so we have just gone foraging. We didn't really get much. Uh, we're going to put our medical supplies away, painkillers and, and all that. We're also going to put away the medicinal herbs that we have found things that are going to help us out Let's see where did we keep them uh, black sage as a pain reliever uh, mallow for cold and flu symptoms uh, plantain as a poultice and wild garlic to help fight infections uh, we didn't find any extra worms which is uh, kind of uh, disheartening Apparently you can eat violets in this game. We found more poisonous berries, but we ain't eating them. We're going to put them on uh, on the dead chick downstairs. Where are you at, poisonous berries? There you go, dead chick, more poisonous berries. Uh, we're getting uh, moderate exertion. Not even doing much. Ah, oh, we've been spending most of the day foraging. That would be why. We're trying to lose that weight. We're trying to do things to, to burn calories to lose weight. Our foraging skill is almost to level 1. Almost to the ability to level it up. We are getting a little drowsy because we've spent the day foraging. I I think we're going to take a lay down. It is only 8 o'clock in the morning, but we've spent uh, several hours foraging. So we're going to have a, a little cat nap. Let's uh, come up here and uh, lay down for a cat nap. We'll take sleeping pills tonight. Oh, frickin' telephone. Well, that's alright. I don't mind it. Woke us up. It's uh, about noon. And we are going to... Uh, we're going to continue doing our foraging. Uh, we're not going to do that off camera, but that's a, uh, that's a little demonstration of foraging. We're going to continue to do foraging. My plan is, 
to uh, to start clearing out this wooded area, even though, see, you could forage. I want to start clearing out this wooded area and start building a safe house. It would be uh, real nice to build a uh, build our own little home. And I'll start expanding on uh, the... Uh, somebody needs to answer that. Uh, expand upon our property. Uh, start cutting down the trees, uh, laying down a floor, putting up walls. Uh, we can uh, cruise around, find some plaster, you know, make our walls look nice. Find some paint to make our uh, to paint our walls, make it look uh, nifty. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna end this here. We did some foraging, we did some looting, we found twine, we repaired our fishing pole. Uh, we went looking for the uh, the key to the police car. We didn't find it. We're gonna keep a lookout. We're gonna we're gonna work on uh, our mechanic skills here and there to uh, get to the point that we can hotwire that car because I really want to get it. Uh, but we are gonna start work on building up a our own little safe house back there. Uh, we've kind of run out of storage here, and I don't like how disorganized this house is. We're gonna continue to live in the house. But we're going to start building a, uh, a better, more secure safe house. And uh, we're even going to look into, I think, I don't know if it's in carpentry. No, it's not carpentry. Maybe it's in metalworking. No, engineer. I'm not sure where it's at, but we can build uh, barbed wire fencing. Uh, I'm going to have to look for it. It may be, it may be in, uh, in our carpentry, just right-click kind of carpentry stuff. Uh, but yeah, in, uh, in future videos, uh, we should, uh, we should be expanding upon that, uh, that property. And, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, no, nothing much else. Uh, it's about noon. <sighs> trying to, trying to figure out, you know, what else to, to do. Except wander around and kill zombies. We need to level up some stuff, uh. But we're doing we're doing really well. Taking risks we don't need to. Wandering into town. Getting into a fight with a zombie like that. Huh. Nothing in the school bag. Might as well take the magazine. He didn't scratch us, did he? No, he didn't scratch us. Uh but we're we're pretty well set. We might as well start, you know, doing things to make our life a little bit easier. Building a house, uh, we'll take the, uh, the wood furnace out to the house after it is built, uh, disassemble furniture for, uh, materials, and, and just start going, uh, going hog wild with that. But I will save that for, uh, future videos. Uh, in the meantime, you all be safe during the zombie apocalypse. You, you find yourself a safe house, you hunker down, and you stockpile that food and water, and you you level up that uh, that carpentry skill because that's going to keep you going for a long time. Uh, hitting zombies with crowbars, not the most effective. Hitting them with axes works really well. Don't use guns. Uh, but this is PFC Havoc saying, safe during the zombie apocalypse, and I'm signing off.